Okay, I'm going to make this video just for the purpose of documentation. Many people ask me where I'm at or where I'm photographing the full moon tonight or why I'm here or why I'm not there where they are at for many reasons. It seems like a freeway here where I live temporarily. As you can see the traffic going by. Uh, this is nothing at the moment. You should see it during rush hour. It's a constant flow of traffic going over the speed limit, which I think is about 35 here, but people do 50 to 60 on this road. But I got the scope set tonight to photograph the moon. I'm sorry I didn't go out this evening. I didn't go to Mount Tabor like I told people I might, but here's the full moon. Through the video, it's overblown, very overexposed here, of course, but if we zoom in, I don't think we can aperture down. Maybe we can. There we go. Here's what happens when you aperture down the lens. You can see many things happening. People are going to say, oh my gosh, look, there's a halo around the moon. Well, they're probably right. Let's take the shutter speed up a bit, get off this flip, slow shutter. So we actually see a smooth transition in the filming. Open the... That's the kind of noise I'm used to hearing every day right there. Every few seconds, something like that goes by. Or huge service industry trucks hitting a bump out here in the road where they just operated on the pavement. So they're going over a huge speed bump over here. You can see it. And I've had to get used to this for the last several weeks. Um, but as vehicles go over it, they uh, some slow down, some nearly crash. Okay, now I'm going to take this video really quick and I'm going to see how fast we can actually do this by aiming into the telescope here to see a much different view. So you're, we're seeing many things here all at once. Maybe a little too much at once. We'll aim right down to the eyepiece here. It takes a few seconds to get it actually aligned. This is not the way I would normally do it. Have it all set up. Aperture down, proper exposure, F8, maximum sharpness. And since we're shooting at ISO 400, it's a little too bright, so we're taking it down here to show the details and maybe realign just a bit by raising it in the eyepiece here. We're going to take it up a little higher. It's not, it's not rising that fast. There's clouds going over it, you can see now a little bit, and maybe that's anomalies in my own eyepiece on my telescope, I'm not sure. Okay, so there it is. And there's the difference. And then you can even, we can zoom in even closer. We can get even... This is the lowest power eyepiece you're looking at too. So you're seeing the moon about as small as we can get it in this telescope. So people don't understand they're shooting through a a telephoto lens in their little pocket cameras. They think, oh my gosh, look, I'm seeing craters. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm discovering things. Well, they haven't looked through a telescope yet, so they have no idea. Uh, when you can get this close, and this is just the low power eyepiece. Uh, you can put it on a high power eyepiece and everything changes, of course. Maybe we can do that here while we're rolling the video. I'll try that. So let's go from the very lowest power eyepiece to a medium power now. Just gonna lift it out of the out of the right angle eyepiece holder and changing from about a 32 millimeter eyepiece to about an 11 millimeter, which will take the magnification to about triple what we were just looking at. Now you're not going to see the whole surface of the moon through this higher powered eyepiece, so we're, we're focusing down here in a much smaller area of the moon. It's almost like you're so close you're looking through a microscope. See the moon go by there, it's, there's the edge. So, whoop, it's kind of, we're getting a little bit of a backlash here on the motor. There's the edge again, so we're going to try to uh, refocus a bit. Take the shutter speed down a bit, give a little brightness. And then we'll even the 
to zoom in on this, and we've lost it already because our our magnification is now so high, we've lost our field of view. So we have to reposition the scope, reposition the camera a bit, zoom back out again. It looks like we've lost it. So I think I'm just going to cut it for there right now. Just take it off the scope and back up into the sky and let people see where it's at here. <laughs> 